Hello guys and welcome back. On this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your time capsule as a wireless backup. You don't need an ethernet cable to connect it to the internet. And I'm also going to show you how to connect it to your existing network or your wireless network. And then show how when you're connected to your wireless network, how you can access files across your time capsule between different devices. And even set up your time machine backups to back up to that internal source if you want or an external source all right so let me introduce you to your time capsule a little bit i'll take you on a quick walk around if you look on the back you've got several ports you've got your power port you've got your usb that you can connect a an external hard drive to or that you can connect a printer that's not wireless your in Put for your cat5 or your ethernet cable and your three extra ports to give you access to three different devices as an ethernet device they are gigabyte ports so you can connect use this as your wireless router or your router if you want or you can use your existing router the way I'm going to show you how to set it up we're going to be using this as like a base station and we're going to I'm going to still be using my wireless router to route my internet through this but I'm not going to use this as a router per se you have your reset button here, and you've also got your, your lock if you want to lock your device down to a cable lock. All right, so all we need for this process to get this set up is one cable, which is a power cable. That's it. So we're simply going to plug this power cable in. Step one, all right? That's the easy part. And then once we plug this power cable in, we're going to connect it. And then I'll show you how to run this setup, which is pretty straightforward to get this thing going. All right, so let's get started. So now that we've got our time capsule plugged in and it's on, we're gonna go do some pretty straightforward setup. So we're gonna click on our finder. And then we're gonna go to applications. Then we're gonna go to utilities folder at the bottom. And then we're gonna click on airport utility. And then from there, you can already see that I've already got a time capsule connected to my network. Another step you want to make sure, make sure that you're going to be on your preferred network and that your other networks that you've connected to, if there are any, that you disconnect from those so your time capsule doesn't act automatically try to connect because it's going to try to do most of the work for you. So right here, you can see where it says other Wi-Fi devices, and that's the time capsule that we just plugged in. So we're going to click there. And you see it'll have the default name for the time capsule, uh, airport time capsule 8897C7. So we're going to click there. All right now. So right now it's going to try to prepare and join the airport time capsule to its network. It's going to read the settings and it's going to try to do this to the default network, which would be the impact network. And that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. But we're going to click other options and make sure that your settings are already correct because you might not be on the same settings because I've already set this up on a previous time capsule. Yours might be on create a new network. So from here, if it is, you're just gonna click on add to an existing network. Then we're gonna hit next. And this is the network and select the network. If you click the down arrow, you should see the network that your computer is already connected to. Then click that network. I want it to be on my five gigahertz network, which is the fastest one that I've got then hit next and then this is going to be the name for your time capsule now this is going to be important so that you can recognize it when you have it connected to your other devices here it'll show up see right now you can see my other time capsule is the two terabyte impact on the two terabyte impact network so we want to give it a unique name so when it's connected you know exactly where it is or what what it's going to be used for now i'm going to use this one for primarily for time machine backups so i'm going to call this the one terabyte time machine time capsule and backup. It's going to be a long name, but that's okay. That just helps me identify what I want it to be or what it is. Now, next thing you're going to do is enter a password for your time capsule. Now, make sure that you remember this password. And this is so that when you connect through a different device on your network, they'll have to enter this password to get access to the files that are stored inside the internal hard drive. All right, so once you've entered your password, go ahead and click Next. 
And now basically it's going to find the network that we wanted. It's going to connect to that network. It found the time capsule. It's going to assign the properties that we told it to, which is that password. And now it's going to try to connect here momentarily. And we just let it do its thing. This is the pretty neat part about this setup. Apple tries to make it pretty much foolproof. So all you have to do is put in the basic information and you're good to go. So now it's just a waiting game. And as we're waiting, we can see that our time capsule has that amber light flashing. Now that amber light has switched to green. So now that green light means we're good to go. And now if we go back to our computer, we can see that yes, that is correct. It says setup complete. Now we're just gonna click done. And then we'll see we have two time capsules that are connected, my two terabyte and now my one terabyte. Now, if you look at the one that we just set up, you'll see there's a little red icon. Just click that icon and it'll tell you what's going on. What's going on is there's an update that's available, a firmware update. So let's go ahead and do that update. Just click on update. And you see at the top there, it says uh, cancel or continue. We're just gonna go ahead and hit continue. And it's just letting you know that, hey, while it's doing this firmware update, it's gonna disconnect itself from the internet. So if you were doing something online, you're gonna lose a connection. So now it's gonna prepare the update and install that update. Now you can see it's preparing that firmware update and now it's gonna be updating that firmware. That's basically the software inside of the time capsule. And when that firmware completes, it's gonna restart the time capsule and then we'll, we'll, we'll be good to go. Then after this, I'm gonna show you how to go in if you need to make any changes to the name or your password and where you get to that. It's in the airport utility. And they make it pretty straightforward. Now the neat thing about this, let's say you've got your time capsule set up and let's say you've got a uh, another computer that's not a Macintosh computer that you wanna access the files on this to other devices on your network and you can do that. If it's a Windows computer, you're gonna to wanna to install the airport utility on that device and there's a link to that in the description of this video. All right, so now that firmware update is almost complete. So you can see here, now it's gonna start restarting your time capsule. You can see that green light turned to amber. And as we see here, it's still restarting. It's gonna restart and install that firmware that we just put on the time capsule. And that restart process does take a couple of minutes. Don't be alarmed or surprised, that's perfectly normal. All right, and as we can see here, the airport time capsule went ahead and installed that firmware update. And now you see they're both green. We've got green, we're good to go here, green, we're good to go here. And they're both connected to the internet. And now you can see if you if we take a quick look back at that time capsule, it's now got a green light instead of that amber light, showing you that it's completely connected and it's ready to go, firing on all cylinders. All right. Close this. Now we can go ahead and close that utility. All right, so hopefully that helps answer your questions on how to set up your time capsule. And now, when you click on your finder, you can see we have those two devices here, the two terabyte and then the one terabyte time machine. And then now, all right, so hopefully that helps. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment below and I'll see if I can help you. But hopefully you've got everything set up now and you're ready to go. Thanks for watching and make it a great day.